Good afternoon and welcome to another ROFS weekly ocean conditions update for the Gulf of Mexico for the week of October 11th, 2023. Uh, first off, you might notice what you see here is a little bit different than normal. This is still uh, what we've been using recently, an ocean color image, but this is based on our cloud-free Fathom Science ocean color chlorophyll modeled data. Um, past probably five to seven days, um, we've had a, a low pressure system go through the Gulf, a, a front go through that's been hanging out, um, sort of draped from uh, down Mexico across the Gulf and, and up over Florida, uh, which is just moving off now, but that's uh, been pretty cloudy for the past five, six, seven days. Um, so we decided to use this imagery so you can get a better sense of of what's going on. Um, looking at this, looking off of the south and southeast of the Mississippi River Delta, um, out here uh, you will see a large clockwise rotating what looks to be loop current eddy that's newly broken off from the loop current. Loop current's now uh, down here to the southwest of Tampa. Uh, again, uh, pushing up towards the steppes region south of the box. Uh, you have some of this cooler water wrapping around and, and this looks to be a newly formed clockwise rotating loop current eddy um, that is still pushing nice clean blue water up over the Green Canyon uh, towards the area south of Mississippi Canyon towards the dump site at Water Valley and uh, west of the Lloyds Ridge area um, and about uh, probably 40 50 miles um, out towards the dump site south of Mississippi Canyon offshore to Delta some really nice uh, color changes blue green uh, blended blue to, to blue where the loop currents pushing the, the nice blue water from offshore up really good conditions for for Wahoo uh, probably in the greener blue green water yellowfin tuna blue marlin but still look good uh, out towards the Green Canyon dump site and uh, southeast of the Delta uh, over towards the double nipple uh, the Soto, uh, the, more like the, the double nipple to the steps. Um, there is a, a pocket. Uh, there's a there's a frontal eddy here. Looks to be counterclockwise rotating uh, south of the Tuna Mountain 960 Hill, south of the double nipple. That is helping some of the, the cleaner water, blended blue to blue green, come up in over south southern Soto Canyon uh, towards the steps and double nipple and 960 Hill. Um, the areas in here where, where the water goes greener to, to cleaner blue-green um, we're going to probably provide you better chances for, for yellowfin tuna uh, maybe some white and blue marlin and some, some wahoo and dolphin um, further eastward towards the nipple you'll see here between the elbow and the nipple uh, elbow and the nipple and the spur got a lot of green water that's moving down here to the southeast um, probably slow fishing in there if you do have to fish in shore um, probably in towards the nipple and the, and the ledges in here in short the unexploded ordnance down towards the squiggles um, are, are going to be your best bets there um, and continuing down off of off of Tampa and off of western Florida um, trends sort of continuing where you have cleaner water probably 10 20 fathoms off towards um, 30 40 50 100 fathoms well when you get offshore um, there's a there's a band of, of green water that's that's coming off off the delta and the inshore areas offshore of Alabama, Mississippi, coming down over the DeSoto Canyon and all the way down inshore of Lloyd's Ridge and inshore the steps um, towards the eastern edge of the loop current. And there's been a series of um, eddies that have been going through the Keys, and some of this water has even been moving around these eddies and up up offshore of the Florida Keys and, and offshore uh, offshore eastern Florida. Um, but there are some good edges um, inshore off of Tampa and then once you get through this band of green water um, south of the box towards the steps the eastern edge of the loop current um, where, where it is pushing pushing a little bit further uh, to the east closer to Tampa looks pretty decent um, out to the west off of Texas um, you sort of have what it looks to be a clockwise flow here uh, south of the Texas-Mexico border, east and, and south uh, towards the Texas Canyon um, and the ledges 
offshore of, of Mexico and the, and the Texas-Mexico border. Um, looks, you look to have a counterclockwise rotating eddy in here, helping the cleaner blue water come up, Colt 45 area, uh, disused explosives dumping area, south of the east breaks and over towards the dump site. Um, still good edges in there uh, for billfish and for tuna wahoo and uh, dolphin and towards the east breaks, the flower gardens, um, all the way in towards the baker's areas, uh, towards the uh, Arantis Bank, uh, all look good, uh, really good conditions, lots of blue water, um, all the way out from, from off of Texas, um, all the way eastward towards the Green Canyon, south of Mississippi Canyon, conditions still, still look uh, very good. That's it for this week. Hopefully, uh, when we come out again in, in about two weeks, uh, our clouds will be clear and we can get a better sense of what's, what's actually going on. But we are pretty confident in this, this data we showed today. Uh, keep in mind, we have switched over to our fall hours uh, a couple of weeks ago. It's our Monday through Friday, 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Eastern Time. Order, please, by 2 p.m. Eastern Time. Uh, you could order by going online, rofs.com, uh, emailing us at fishing at rofs.com or calling the office at 321-725-5759. Um, if you have any photos from your fishing trips, please email them to us at feedback at rofs.com so we can use them on, on social media. And um, follow us for updates on fishing reports and other fishing and science related news on our social media channels at Roths Fishing uh, on Instagram and uh, on Facebook as well. That's it for this week and uh, we'll come at you again in about two weeks. Thank you.